Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to El Cater, Iowa. Finally said it right. Uh, thank you. Uh, I forget your name. You pointed it out that I was saying it wrong. I forget who you are, but you know who you are. Thank you. Um, yeah, so. Um, I'll show you guys, I guess, what where everything's at here on the farm. And then we're going to get started on some tillage. So here, um, I did buy a few more things. Um, the equipment that I have bought, in, I'm pretty sure it was that service truck that we bought. Um, when I tried to save, it just locked it up. Uh, so it was conflicting with something else. So we didn't get that. Um, but I'll run you guys through everything that we do have. So here we have the J&M 375ST. Uh, use this for putting lime and seeds into our planter and our fertilizer spreader or if we want to broadcast some solid fertilizer we got that as well in here we have the let's see this is the 06 I believe oops wrong way wrong thing um, oh it doesn't say but here we got uh, Duramax dually we got the road armor bumper on it with the light bar we got the Duramax tow mirrors on it the newer Duramax tow mirrors we got aftermarket wheels on it we got a um, headache rack um, this is gonna be kind of like our bigger pulling truck because of the gooseneck um, that's really the only reason I picked this truck up uh, well that's the reason that we had to get another truck is because we needed something that could pull the gooseneck uh, for our seed tender um, and then this right here is a diesel tank. Uh, this is a refillable diesel tank. So uh, we got diesel in it. And then if we go down here, um, got the auger sitting right here next to the shed for the time being. We got the Mandeco land roller sitting out back here. Um, have not gotten this thing done. Um, by the way, I guess I should say it right now too. Uh, sorry that today's video is going out a little bit late. Um, actually a lot late. It's already 5 o'clock as I'm recording this. Um, been a crazy last night to today. So, a lot of stuff going on. Um, but I have not gotten anything done on this roller yet. Uh, actually Serious Mods is, um... I'm going to be helping me do a couple things to this. Um, and then we got our grain head, our sunflower head, and our corn head all sitting up here. And then in this shed, we have our Case 1255 corn planter. And we got our Case 500T drill. We got our Case Tiger Mate 200 back there. We got our Hardy navigator 6000 right here we got our John Deere 630 disc right here so we need to pull our drill out to get to our disc so we're gonna leave this door open because we need to get started on tillage uh, we're gonna go through and be we're gonna be going through and plowing and then we'll be broadcasting lime and then cultivating um, up here in this part of this shed, we've got the uh, new liter NL345 Furt Spreader. And then we only need to open the one door over here so we can see everything here. Um, here we got our 6.5 diesel that we had bought. And here we got the McLean modding. Um, it is scripted right now as just liquid fertilizer trailer. But I am going to be adding herbicide to it so that way we can also use it um, and probably upping the capacity so we can use it both for putting fertilizer in our planters as well as putting herbicide in our sprayer and then we have our Thunder Creek FST 990 with the diesel and def on it um, that's all that we got in there oops this isn't closing there we go then if we go up here um, right here we got our def tank uh, which is fillable it is full in here we got our Peterbilt uh, what is it 
say, well, I believe it's a 389. Should be. Uh, our Peterbilt 389 with our Wilson Hopper trailer. I don't know why it's in white. It's supposed to be in pewter. Anyhow. And then here we have our John Deere 9610. Our John Deere 8960. And our Challenger... Shit. What is this again? MT685D. I believe that's correct. Yeah, it's our 685D. Oops. Press the button one too many times. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to close this door over here. Open up this one. Because we need to get this tractor out. So we can hook it up to our disc. Um, I've had a few people commenting, saying to do cows, a few people saying to do pigs, a couple people saying to do both, so we probably will get into them, something at some point or another, I'm not exactly sure when. Um, so the field we're going to start with is this field right here. Um, I believe, we'll see. Let's hook onto this right here. Get it out so we can get back in there to our disc. That'll work right there. Now we should be able to sneak our disc by the sprayer. I shouldn't have to pull that out. Yeah, we should have plenty of room back in here for that. Oh. We are zoomed way out. Okay, let's take a look here. So, field 46. Field 46 is already plowed. Isn't it? Why are you not updating here? Okay. So, is this field cultivated? Yes, okay. So, we're going to start off right over here with field 46, right out of our yard here, because I believe we actually own the field on either side, yeah, so that's field 47 over there, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to start here on field 46, might even be able to do this entire field, but we'll see. This plowing, yes, okay. We're getting our spring field work started. Oh, I know one thing that I remember or forgot that we needed to buy. So let's go ahead and quick get that. Uh, we need a tractor and a snowblower for winter time. Mm. 
mask. Hmm? This one? Yeah. There you go, babe. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here it is. We need the Normand Snowblower. We're going to probably pick it up in black. So we need that, and then we need something four-wheel drive. We don't need a huge, huge tractor, but we want something good size, but four-wheel drive to run that. We could get a 7,000 series. Get an 8340 New Holland. 125 horse. Yeah, because then we can put a loader on it. Okay, we don't need narrow tires. Mm. And we'll put a front loader attacher on it because then we'll go here. See, I first got to find out if there's a specific loader for it. Sometimes it works that way. So let's make sure there's not a specific loader for this 8430. Okay. There isn't, so... We're going to pick up a loader and a bucket... So that way we can, um, let's see, probably the FZ30, we'll get this, and then we'll get the multi-purpose bucket for in case we got to scoop up up close to stuff. Wait for this to save. And then we're going to jump on down here to our tractor. And we'll grab our loader and our bucket. How's this loader look? This loader looks perfect. Okay, and then we'll get hooked on to the snowblower here. Just a little chore tractor here. Okay, here we go. I don't know why that thing does not always want to work, but does not always want to work to turn the HUD back on so we're gonna throw him on dealership to main yard and we'll let course play run it to the farm so that way we can continue on our tillage perfect alright let's get rolling again See how far we can get on this field in the next 16 minutes. I'm noticing that some of the edges still have some grass instead of the field, so it's kind of why I'm overhanging so bad right now because I just want to make sure that I get all the edges of this field. You can kind of tell, too, where it is that it's grass because it's kind of a different color so you can see kind of right next to my tractor there is field but it's just put in as grass so we're going to go ahead and knock that out We just gotta be careful because there is a hay field right next to this, so we don't wanna 
dig up our hay field. Definitely don't want to disc that up because if we're going to get into animals, we are going to need that. Let's go Alt C, Control S, enable the guidance steering, show the lines, auto width, we don't want that. A plus heading, set A, we'll do zero. This will be 630 disk. Save that. Okay, we need to flip this 90 degrees. And bada bing bada boom, there we go, we got GPS running now. We just kind of got to watch it right here because of this hay field. So I'm going to actually take it off for the moment to run it alongside of here. I want to make sure that we get all of this field, but we don't dig up any of that hay field. Because that would not be fun. I don't want to have to replant any hay. Although, I mean, I could dig up the hay ground and replant it as alfalfa. Because that this map does have alfalfa in it, so... That could very well be done. Well, we'll probably just stick to the way it is for right now. Until we're actually getting into animals and stuff. We might end up just leasing the uh, equipment needed to put up the hay and straw. Um, for the time being, until next season when we have a little more money after selling off our crops and stuff, then we'll probably buy everything. But what I'm thinking of doing is, you know, we'll probably run, you know, go get a swather from the dealership and lease that, and then we'll probably get a, um... You know, get a swather, get a baler, get a rake if we need it, get something to stack stuff with, and just kind of lease the stuff um, just to put up whatever feed we need, you know, in terms of the hay bales, the straw bales, and then getting some silage bales. And then we'll maybe... Um, you know, finish out our season. I don't know. We'll see. Because I don't think that we'll really have enough money right now to buy all the equipment that we need for it. I could be wrong, but I'm not exactly sure. Where in the world is this thing at? Wow, that thing is driving slow as can be. Why is that? It doesn't even look like it's moving. What the heck? It only wants to drive six miles an hour. Okay, well, whatever. It'll get back to our farm eventually, I guess. Whatever works there. I do really like the uh, field textures on this map. 
map is very well done. Um, definitely hats off to MRG mapping. He did an excellent job on this map. Um, at the moment, in terms of all the maps that are publicly released, this by far is my favorite map that is out. And, like, I haven't even hardly played on it. Like, the only thing I haven't, the only thing I've done on here that I haven't shown you guys is parking all the equipment. And that was about it. And whatever else has been on camera, that's the only amount of playing that I've actually done on this map so far. And by far, absolutely love this map. Um... I'm really enjoying it already. By far, favorite map that there is right now. So, definitely hats off to MRG. Um, if I ever get the ambition to actually finish my map, I hope my map looks at least half as good as this one. Because this one is very, very well done. Well, <clears throat> this is, I think, actually our smallest field that we have. Yeah, this is our smallest, and then it goes up to field 44, and then field f 45, 47, 28, 43. That's kind of uh, our range in the sizes, or, you know, how kind of how it goes from smallest to biggest there so we do have a few fields we'll probably uh, try and expand that next season maybe because I hoping that this series actually goes into the next year That's the plan. Ah, come on. I don't know what's up with my cruise control, but it's kind of acting goofy. But, get this field done in this episode, and then off camera I'll probably get um, the headlands done on our on the next field. Because if we look, because um, we're going to run oats, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. And we are able to plant the oats and the sunflowers now. So I was thinking we'd run oats in 46, 44, and 28. Um, corn in 43. Sunflowers in 47 and beans in 45. It's kind of what I'm thinking of. Because uh, we'll probably do... Well, actually... Let's just run sunflowers, corn, and beans for this first year. Because we don't really need anything that... We don't really need any straw. Because we're... Yeah, we'll just run crops for our first year, and then for our next second year, that's when we'll run other stuff. So, sunflower ground is going to be 46 and 44. 
So this is going to be sunflowers, these two. So we need to plow field 44 yet. And then we need to spread lime on both of them. And cultivate them and then get them planted. And then we'll put in 28 and 43, we'll put corn. And then 47 and 45, we'll put our beans. So we need to get this in field 44 worked up. So that way we can get stuff done on them. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking too if we need it. You know, come harvest time, if we need the extra space, um, probably going to look at finding a spot on our farm here to put down some grain bins. Um, that or I know, see, it's the, oh, what the hell is that one? Uh, the malls farm there are a couple of grain bins there and if we buy oh geez that's gonna give us four more fields and that's over half a million dollars too there so I'm sure we can probably find a spot I don't like how the shed is not visible that's kind of annoying <laughs> what the heck Come on, show my shed. There we go, now it's starting to show. But um, I'm sure we can find a spot, even if we got to take up one of our hay fields or something like that. You know, if we got to go up by the uh, silage bag up there, over the hill. Um, I mean, if we got to buy a couple of grain bins and place them up there, I'm sure we can do that. And then we can pick up an auger as well. Um, if we need the extra storage space, I don't know if we will or not, but we'll find out when, uh, harvest time comes. Because we have, we have the ability to put in 14,000 bushels of each crop, so, who knows, we may not have enough room. I mean, we could pick up fields 70, well, 69, 70, 71, 72, and we could run something else down there, but I don't really want to run that much land right now. So, probably wait on picking some of that up. Got a couple more passes left, and then we're done with this field. And then, like I said, um, off camera, I'll get the headland passes around field 44 done just so it's at least opened up and then when we come back tomorrow we'll try and get that one done up um, so that way we can have that field done and then we can get started on our lime and cultivating and all that fun stuff because we got a lot of work left to do so um, and before we start planting I need to get that uh, nurse trailer of ours, uh, finished, I need to finish doing to it what I want to do, um, I gotta add herbicide in as a fill type, and then I gotta see if I can't up the capacity a little bit, maybe, I don't remember if I have to or not, but, and then, um, continue talking with serious mods, getting that Mandaco land roller set up how it needs to be set up. Or how I want it to be set up, I should say. Uh, so that way it uh, doesn't use a whole crap load of fertilizer like it is right now. But I'm not in a super, super big hurry to get the Mandaco going because we do have a long while before we need to use it. Because that won't be used until after fall. 
so or until in the fall won't be used till after harvest so so I'm not too terribly worried about that thing right now should be our last pass here and I believe that it is Whoop. yeah this is our last pass so we're gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll go ahead and get this guy run over to 44 there. And we'll just shut our GPS off for now because we don't need it on at the moment. And then, now, we'll make our trek over to Field 44. And then we'll call her good. Hmm? Okay. okay, can you wait, honey? So we'll need to go into our other yard to uh, get into field 44. She's a little bit of a track. That's alright. We still have a lot of work left to do on tillage. There's our snowblower coming down the road. Slowly but surely. I don't know why it only wants to go six miles an hour. I mean, it's set to maximum speed and everything, so... Not too sure why. Maybe it just doesn't like course play, I don't know. That's alright, I'm not too worried about it. It's going up there at least, so... That's all that really matters and I'll have to find a spot to put that probably just have it sit outside for now till fall and then we'll probably throw it in the uh, big shed so we'll probably be moving stuff around in the big shed after harvest we'll probably you know we'll be making it so that the combine is more or not the combine the truck is more accessible um, you know, easier to get in and out because we will be needing that over the winter. That's going to be about the only thing that we really need this winter. So that and our snow blower. So right here is our field. So we'll pull on into the yard here and get on into this field. Get ready to start disking it. Um, and I did put the def pump down here uh, at this yard. So when we run out of def, we just bring our trailer down to this yard, fill it up, run it up to the farm to the. Uh, to our def tank. Alright, where am I going to want to start this field at here? Uh, we'll probably start it right here. I mean, I could have came in off the road, but... All right, there we go. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Like I said, off camera, I will get um, our headlands done. Um, so that way, when we come back tomorrow, we are just going, knocking out the rows, 
getting it done. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys are liking this series so far. If you are, make sure you give that thumbs up button a big old like. I've totally messed that up. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or have not yet done so, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you have the uh, little bell icon checked to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description uh, where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all my social medias, as well as some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching all y'all. And as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.